What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely awesome host today, Bokusatsu, and I'm here to review a figure that I've been waiting for, actually, for a couple of months now, and he just came out, well, this year, funny enough, in Japan. <laughs> Sorry. Today, we're here to review the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Legend from Kamen Rider Gotchard. Yes. Legend, you gotta ask, wait a minute, he look like Decayed. Oh, he does look like Decayed. That's because he's gorgeous. But as a, in, as a new and improved version of Decayed, I'm kidding. This is not Decayed, this is Kaguya. The, uh, the, a fanboy of Decayed, you can call him. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the figure. I, I gotta be honest. I may not like Legend because I think Legend it's just a carbon it's just the way wild version decayed. Well that's pretty much what he is. But at the same time, uh I love this figure. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about why I love this figure. So let's so let's begin. Alright. To ask, how far does his arms go up? Well this is how far his arms go up. Because well his arm, his arms are a little bit limited due to due to this chest piece, due to this uh piece right here, shoulder piece. I call it chest piece. I meant shoulder piece. My bad. This is how far he goes from here to here to here. You go. This is how far his legs go from here to here. Now I heard I heard from a Japanese view that that this figure is good for posing, but at the same time he is a little bit uh scary. You can say for posing, so you gotta be careful. Also, wanted to point out the gold does not max. Max. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you. Match. Look at the gold here. This gold does not match this gold, so I have no idea what's that all about. And same here. This is the same gold, but uh, this gold does not match this one. They did the exact same thing to the two Kaiser figure art, from what I heard. And I don't even have that figure. Why? I didn't buy it. You got uh, any like smudges on the figure? Not none I can think of. I do love the detail. Also, want to point out that I love the fact how uh, this figure, this this is the first Gotcha figure that has the said Kemi card, uh, well painted in. Look, Tamashi did that. They really painted that in because no fan, they didn't do that. Sorry, no fan, they didn't paint in Gotcha or Voldorad's Kemi cards in. They're uh, well. In their uh, toys and their figures, this one they did. It's pretty cool. Also, you see, he got like multiple holders for a lot of cards you can uh, use because well, he's well, he's always packed. He's like, like, wait, the guys, the guys packing heat. He have all these cards to hold all these to hold all twenty legendary riders powers in them so he can use them for his own advantage in his own personal game well game oh yeah ignore the ignore the background sound it's raining outside right now and that, that's so fun yay happy monday by the way just want to point that out but yeah this but yeah uh, no uh this figure's pretty good congratulations he is, he is a little bit limited from this, which which uh, does irk me, but it's not that bad. It's not worse as got charred. But uh, this is uh this this isn't annoying either, which is okay. Minus the fact that uh, the gold is not the correct color, which I have an issue with that. But uh, yeah, everything else about the figure is pretty good. No paint smudges, no none there. Oh, by the way, this figure is premium Bandai. You know, if you want to get this figure, I bought mine from Ninja Games. The US release comes out next month, but uh, if you don't have the US release, he is available. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think on Ninja Games. I know that not a lot of people bought this figure. 
And also, got chart merchant isn't that expensive on the aftermarket now. So you're welcome. So now, so now we're gonna go talking, 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 talking. What the heck? I cannot talk it. So today we are gonna, we are gonna go show off though his accessories. Cause yeah, he has accessories, all right. So let's, so let's go on, so let's go on showing off his weapon. This is his gun. Oh, the fact how yeah, it's just a painted version of Gold Dash. It's just a painted version of the bike. That's funny. <laughs> but did Kagiak can summon any any like past uh, legendary rider from second day to tertiary to primary anyone? Here we have his open oh, palm hands, his jazz hands, like I like to say. Here we have his generic, uh, basic pose hands you can use, you can use for him. Here we have his hands you can use for, well, his gun, his grab hands, like I just say. And here we have the hands you can do to make him do his uh, gorgeous pose, if you feel like it. And yeah, that's it. Now, I would compare him to the Cade. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me go get the Cade. Dun, 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 dun. This video is not getting copyrighted because I'm singing an insert song with my own voice, not with the lyrics. Here we have, well, uh, here we have the original, uh, here we have the original legend, the better version of legend, uh, Decayed. <laughs> the original and the fanboy. But anyway, here he is for other figures for side comparison. Here for Calibur. Dang, Calibur is very taller than both of them. We're gonna put, we're actually gonna put you in the background because it, it's kind of fitting. Here we have Gene and, uh, oops, sorry, and uh, Valkyrie. Yay, two other tertiaries. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for Comrade Volorad. That thing could be so good. Woo! Sorry. Here we have him with, with a few other legend, with a few other legendary riders. Sorry, Wizard. In uh, everyone's favorite video game, Common Rider himself, Xade. He stands pretty well with both of them. Ain't gonna cap. And just because this makes sense, here with other Gotcha figure releases, Voderad. And uh well, Gotcha himself. I love all I love all these figures. So if I had to rank them. It goes this. Legend, Voderad, and Gotchard. In my top in my opinion, this is how I rank this three Gotchard releases. From Legend, because he's the less of, he's the less frustrating one out of the three. The Voderad, my my only issue with him that the figure is a little bit the figure is a little bit limited for articulation due to the fact that uh these are in the way. But uh that, that's about it. And that plastic, and that plastic uh, skirt is a pain to butt the pose at times, but it's not that bad. And Gotchar, he's good and all. He's amazing. I'm mad that I missed out on getting the cloth SHF upgrade skirt. 
and uh, his and uh, his uh, shoulder pads hinder articulation, which isn't that good for me. So yeah, that's about it. But besides that, these are all amazing figures. I just like Legend Owl. I just like Legend Voldemort more than Go Gotchard. Nothing against the characters, so I just want to point that out. And here he is with here he is with the SA figure art 4.0 Super Saiyan Goku. And here he is with, with, well, with another version with well another superhero alien. Low. The Mayfex Hush the Mayfex Hush Superman. Dang that <laughs> Dang Goku Goku is super taller than uh <laughs> Than Legend himself. Alright. Ah, oh, my goodness. I can hear Living Legend right now playing in my head, but unfortunately I cannot like play the song for the pictures for well, I'm not trying to get copyright claim by uh, Avex. And, uh, you know Avex, they, they are not nice when you use their songs for for something for for a video. So overall, what do I think of Legend? Well, I'll say it like this. If you love Decade, then you're gonna love Legend. But if you love Legend and not Decade, then well, it's the same it's the same thing. But for real, if you like if you like this character in this suit, and uh, if you have like Every piece of legend merch and go buy the figure art. Okay. But if you don't want to, that's fair enough. The figure premium bandai. Again, I bought mine from Ninja Games. I'm not sponsored by the way. I would love to one day. But still. Uh I bought mine from Ninja Games and uh, he's available on there. He's uh this is this is the Japanese release. Duh obviously. The US release is next month and uh yeah. I know he's not that hard on the aftermarket, cause well, it's legend and uh, his and people love Decay and Decay is super popular. But yeah, besides that, if you want this figure, go buy him. If you don't, that's fine. He's 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 a Tamashi website exclusive, as I said, P Bandai. And his US release is next month, but if you don't have the Japanese release pre-order, then uh, that's fine. But if you have, if, but if you have a US release on pre-order, then good for you. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. And tune in next time for my next video, which is I have no idea. I have no idea what my next video is going to be on. So. But yeah, tune in next time for my next video. We review a, I'm going to get the anime figure or token figure, one or two. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media description. My name is Aaron. And uh, subscribe to this channel because we're trying to reach a thousand subs this year. And we, we you guys help, we can make that happen. Like, seriously, guys, right, we are almost there. Share this video with your friends and family as well. And yeah, my name's Aaron. I'm out. Have a nice day or night, wherever you live at. Wherever, wherever you live at. And uh, yeah, enjoy the pictures. I'm out. Peace. This figure is gorgeous. If I had to rank him. Bye.